Christine Chung, Principal of Highwood School. Welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. I'll bet you're wondering what schools are going to look like in September. We've made a few changes to our school buildings, as well as the processes we will be following. Everyone in our school community needs to work together to follow these guidelines. We must all do our part to help keep each other safe and healthy. In July, the Government of Alberta announced that students and staff would return to in-class learning for the start of the 2020-21 school year, known as Scenario 1. As we move through the school year, we all need to be flexible and ready to make changes and adapt to new information and government recommendations. More information about the specific guidelines and plans CBE schools are following is posted on the CBE website. This is the best place to go for up-to-date information. First, before coming to school or work each day, every student and staff member must complete a self-assessment. This questionnaire has been developed by the Government of Alberta and will be used to determine whether students and staff can attend school that day or must stay at home. Families are not required to submit the form to the school each day. It is a tool to use to assess your child's wellness before sending them to school. The self-screening questionnaire is available in multiple languages. Families will receive a copy of this questionnaire from their school in late August. I've completed my assessment this morning and we're ready to go. Let's see what a typical day in an elementary school will look like. All students will have an assigned door to use every time they enter and exit their school. When students arrive at school, they will go to the area outside their assigned door, follow physical distancing guidelines when it is time to enter the school, wait for staff's guidance to enter the school. Adults bringing students to school will be asked to say goodbye to their students outside of the school and maintain a safe physical distance between themselves and others. If your child requires support to enter the building, please contact your school office. We will be happy to work with you to develop a plan that is safe for both students and staff. At this time, the CBE will require all staff and students from kindergarten to grade 12 to wear a mask at school. This includes in classrooms and in public spaces such as hallways, learning commons, bathrooms, etc. Masks are also required for staff and students traveling on Calgary Transit or on a yellow school bus. Guidelines will be provided that include support for students and staff who are unable to wear a mask due to medical conditions or other needs. When students and staff take breaks from wearing a mask, it will be important for other measures to be adhered to, like physical distancing, hand hygiene, and sanitizing surfaces. The provincial government will provide all students and staff with two reusable cloth masks, but families may want to purchase additional ones. If students forget their mask, schools will have some disposable ones available. CBE schools will be promoting healthy habits and hand hygiene. We will be washing or sanitizing our hands regularly at school. It will be important for students and staff to clean their hands when entering or exiting the building, after using the washroom, when transitioning between classrooms or going outdoors. We also need to clean our hands before and after sporting activities, eating food or after sneezing or coughing. Inside the school, you will see a variety of visual cues to help all of the people in the school building maintain physical distancing. This could be arrows on the floor or walls to follow, signs on the door indicating which one to use to enter or exit, or decals on the floor that show you where to go, to stand, or to wait. This is just like the signage you're used to seeing all around Calgary, in stores and public spaces. We will be doing some extra cleaning to ensure all of our shared spaces are kept safe. The CBE has hired more custodial staff this year. The CBE has cleaning protocols in place and all CBE staff need to complete a training course prior to the first day of classes to inform ourselves of these new practices. Classrooms will work a little differently too. Seating plans will be assigned throughout the day in the classroom as well as at lunch. Assigned seating is one strategy we will use to mitigate the potential spread of COVID-19 and support contact tracing if required. Desks or tables might be arranged further apart or rearranged so students are not facing each other. We've removed soft furnishings like area rugs and beanbag chairs from our classrooms and other things that are difficult to clean or sanitize. Each student in kindergarten to grade 9 will have their own personal school supplies to use. Parents should supply personal items such as water bottles. 
Your teachers will remind you, but please don't share personal items and materials like electronic devices or pens and pencils. Teachers will plan learning activities to reduce or minimize the need to share equipment, textbooks or materials. If items are shared, they will be cleaned after use. Students will wash or sanitize their hands both before and after shared items. Please only bring to school what you need for the day. At this time, we know the delivery of some activities and programming will look different. These changes are made to reduce the spread of COVID-19. This may change as the school year progresses and we must stay flexible. The process for accessing materials in your school's library or learning commons will also be different. Washrooms will be cleaned and disinfected several times throughout the day. Depending on the size of the school and location of the washrooms, schools may assign students or grades to specific washrooms. Schools will have measures in place to promote physical distancing in spaces where students often gather, such as foyers, learning commons, or tea intersections and hallways. Some of our measures will include limiting the number of students permitted in certain areas at certain times, requiring students to walk straight through some areas so they do not crowd in groups, having staff continue to supervise high traffic areas and remind students to physical distance. We know this is an adjustment for everyone, but it is an important measure to help protect staff and students. Students will take recess and breaks in groups. At elementary and middle schools, schools will ensure each group has an area outside that supports physical distancing and promotes play and physical activity. Schools may stagger break times or assign groups of students to specific areas of the schoolyard. Schools will follow the Government of Alberta's guidance for playgrounds when using the schoolyard and outdoor equipment. Before and after school, school staff will be assigned to supervise areas outside school entrances. This supervision will help support physical distancing and is part of our division's COVID-19 re-entry strategy. With this in mind, schools will not be assigning staff to supervise playground equipment before and after school. To help keep our students safe while playing outdoors, the playground equipment will be off limits to students during the time immediately before and after school. We ask our families to support us in this change. Families who wish to take children to the playground at other times of the day are encouraged to follow the province's guidance for playgrounds to use the equipment as safely as possible. All students must wash their hands before eating and eat only their own food. Seating plans will be in place for lunch. Students are not permitted to share food under the provincial health guidelines. Schools will not be able to support any food delivered or brought into the school. If a student forgets their lunch, families should phone the school to work out a solution. At this time, microwaves will not be available to students and vending machines will not be operating. Cafeterias and school nutrition programs will adhere to the provincial guidelines. Remember, if you are sick, don't get on the bus or come to school. We all need to share this responsibility and follow directions given to us by AHS. If you feel sick at school, we have a dedicated space set up where you can rest. A family member or emergency contact will be contacted to pick you up immediately. Please ensure that we have updated contact information on file with the school so we can reach you. It's very important that families have a plan in place for days when your child cannot come to school due to illness. At this time, we are limiting the number of non-staff adults in the building. Existing partners that directly support student learning and well-being will continue to work with our schools. Parent volunteers, guests and visitors are not permitted in the school. However, we're optimistic that we will find ways to work with volunteers and visitors later in the school year. Parents, please communicate with the school through email or by phone instead of dropping in. We are so excited to welcome you back to school. Things will look a little different, but let's work together to stay safe and have an awesome year of teaching and learning. Keep visiting your school website for links with more information. We'll see you soon.